Good morning to everyone and welcome to my channel. This is my weekend realistic vlog and it's funny because my mother asked me why I don't do a little bit of makeup or hair for these videos but again this is a realistic routine so this is how I look when I wake up so yeah no makeup no hair no everything and still very sleepy voice so you can be 100% sure that I just woke up so and since it's very productive weekend routine i wanted to start my day with cleaning up my space a little bit and i wanted to start with this bathroom space here so i bought this cute bag in zara home and uh, i love how it looks so uh, basically my cleaning looks like this I put it on here i love this ring okay i think it looks much better now so maybe later i'll put here some extra shelf of these things to keep this place simple and clean reading this book, The First Global Village. It's uh, basically about Portuguese history by an English author who lived here for eight years. I live in Lisbon for a long time already and I know nothing about Portuguese history, so I decided that it's time to, to read a little bit about it. But honestly, for now, I'm not sure I really like this book, but I've only read like 10, 10 pages of the first chapter, so uh, I think it's too early to, to say something now. If you're looking for a quick and engaging read, I highly recommend you to read Dopamine Nation. It's a previous favorite of mine, the book I read before this one. Even though I was interested in how our brain works and in dopamine in particular before I still learned a lot from this book and I can't recommend it high enough especially for those who struggles with any type of addiction and for those who just want to learn more about our brains about dopamine and about how this culture of instant gratification messes up with our minds I think it's gonna be like a wake-up call for a lot of people because it made me realize that we have to take control and that we don't have to let this chase of fast dopamine rule our minds and our life choices. And by the way, don't forget to like and subscribe. This is me, by the way. And I also have one very important task to do before my breakfast. I still have like a half an hour and I wanted to study a little bit. So I'm actually very excited because I love to start my weekend with something that nurtures my mind to learn something new. So today I'm gonna study Portuguese. And it's actually very exciting because I'm starting this new notebook. The thing is, I've never ever finished the previous ones. And I really want to make this one as structured and as organized as possible because I want to keep it and I want to come back to it when I forget something. But the problem is I still have no idea how I want to, to organize it. So I think I'm gonna try a new approach here and ask ChatGPT to help me to, to build a plan. Maybe it's gonna help me a little bit. I brought my two previous notebooks with me. They are so dirty already and such a mess. Also, as you can see, I'm unconsciously choosing the same color palette for my Portuguese lessons. Let me show how it goes with ChatGPT. So he suggested me this structure. As you can see, it's vocabulary, grammar, practice exercises. And then I tried to use this plugin with diagrams. I'm gonna use this one or maybe make it a little bit simpler because as you can see, it's not very big. So now, as you can see, he breaks down these topics into smaller, smaller section, but I think I'm gonna use only vocabulary, practice exercises and grammar section. That's it. for my breakfast look at this comfy outfit because it's my weekend and obviously all white because it's very hot outside it's about 30 degrees already so it's gonna be extremely hot today i guess and after my coffee and breakfast i'm gonna go to get my nails done not this one they are perfect Uh, also, I'm gonna take my computer with me. Yes, you heard it right. I still need to do some work. Going to get some food. So 
so I've done my nails and they offered me a 15 minutes massage and uh, guess what I answered I'm basically a massage addict so yes this was the best part of the day I think and uh, so far my weekend going well We have a friend here, he's sitting there all the time. And uh, now I'm going back home to do some uh, work, this accounting stuff I have to do. And, uh, look where we are. I usually don't do workouts and running on my weekends, but today I felt like I need some movement for my body because I didn't walk a lot, usually I walk a lot on my weekends, so I decided to check in in my gym again, just uh, to move my body a little bit. This was my short weekend workout, it just was a pure improvisation from me. And I guess this is the main reset part of my weekend. I'm so happy that I decided to stay home today and I ordered delicious Italian food. Here I have the ravioli with me. I'm alone at home, by the way, watching YouTube. Usually we try to go out on weekends to meet with friends and uh, do something new, but sometimes I need just to be with myself, to spend time with myself and uh, to align with all my uh, internal emotions, just to process all this working week. So again, I'm really happy I stayed at home and I will just continue enjoying my dinner and then I will have to work. And uh, it's funny how I took my computer with me and was carrying it around the city the whole day, but in the end brought it here to work from home. It happens sometimes, a lot actually, uh, but you know, I feel like, I feel calmer when I have my computer with me and I can work from anywhere if I, if I had a chance and some extra time. At least it's not that hot in our apartment as in all these coffee places I was planning to go. Alright, my dear viewers, it's already late and I'm ready to go to bed to read a little bit and to maybe start editing this video straight away. On this note, I wanted to say thank you so much for watching my video and for spending my weekend with me. I really hope that you found some inspiration in my video because the main idea of this weekend reset vlog was to show that weekend is this magical time when you generate all this energy that will fuel your next week so it's very important to build your own healthy and recharging routine that will help you to reset so you can start your new week with lots of energy this positive mindset and determination and i really encourage you to spend your next weekend or your next day of doing the things that you love and the things that make you really happy because this is extremely important important for your productivity and for your mental state. So again, I really hope that I was able to inspire you a little bit or maybe you saw here some ideas or habits that you can incorporate in your weekend reset routine. And again, thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.